Welcome, Professor Gottschalk. Um, you're a professor of strategy here at HEC Paris, and your research focuses on uh, private equity investments. Um, you just published a new ranking on the private equity sector uh, called the HEC Dow Jones uh, Private Equity um, Fitness Ranking. Uh, what is new about this ranking? First of all, we have to understand that private equity is a very particular asset class. It is opaque and usually people outside this particular sector do not really know what's happening in private equity and what's driving performance in private equity. I've been researching this industry for a good decade and discovered a number of things and gathered a lot of data about this industry, which allowed us to really study the different actors, the different fund managers, and assess their competitive fitness and classify them according to this fitness criterion. What does competitive fitness mean? It's, a, it's an aggregate term that encompasses a variety of aspects that characterize the ability of these funds to generate value going forward and to outperform their peers going forward. So like many other rankings that exist, it's trying to be meaningful in the sense that it should have to some extent a predictive capacity to identify those funds who will outperform their peers over the next five to 10 years. So what are the factors behind this ranking? It was our objective to have a ranking that is really objective in the sense that it's not really reflecting people's opinion about the industry, but to capture the underlying facts. So we looked at a, a series of 30 different factors who we suspected to potentially be related to performance. And then we measured those factors over a 20 year window and analyzed historically to what extent each of them is indeed a valid predictor of performance. This led to a shortened list of 10 factors, which were related to performance in a statistically significant fashion. And those are then the factors that make up this fitness score. I'll give you a few examples. Um, there are some of those factors that have a lot of in intuitive meaning. For instance, those funds tend to be performing better, which are focused on a few industries rather than being diversified. Those funds tend to perform better, which are good at timing the public markets in the sense that they make private equity investments at times where Assets and companies tend to be relatively inexpensive and they sell at the moments when the markets are higher. And so the variety of those factors that all make up this overall fitness score. All right. And what is the economic impact of this fitness score? Its economic impact, in fact, is best understood by looking at the historic implication and by answering the question, how much more value would have been generated by the top players as identified according to the score? And in fact, if an investor had put uh, his or her money systematically with the best 10% of fund managers as identified by the score, the resulting performance would have been higher by a factor of 1.7 compared to the average firm in the private equity universe. Thank you for coming. My pleasure.